Hello everyone, welcome back to my humble home, my living room. Um, today we are going to talk about number sets in order of operation. Okay, it's one of my favorite topics. I might peek over here because I have some examples and I'm trying to stay on my time goal of 15 minutes or less. Like the old Domino's Pizza ad. Um, okay, so um, let's uh, let's let's start out our time together with this old bad boy. Okay, and let's see if we know the proper order. This is old school. No school like the old school. Of course not. So let's check this out. Okay, let's see if we know how to do this right. So. Oh, my brown's getting a little oop do Okay, so this says 2 plus 4 times 7 minus 2 cubed equals... Oh, we're going to put the brown away. The brown maybe got a little dried out in my bag. You know, I wasn't... I, back to face-to-face -to -face teaching, I wasn't using this so much. Okay, so what do we do first? This is like a hodgepodge, right? Um, well, I'm going to let you guys ponder this for a second. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to, we're going to do this. And I'm going to give you my theme on, on numbers, okay? So this is a multiplication. These, these, these right here. Oh, sweet Lord. Oh, this one's dead too. What the actual? I need new markers. Test this one. I'm going to have to go buy more. Green's good. Green's good. Poor blue. Blue. Okay. So... Adding and subtracting are the same. Subtracting is just inverse adding. We're going to talk about that in a second, but I'm seeing what you guys remember first, okay? So, since these are balanced, I'm just going to go through, and we're going to talk about what we did. There we go. And that's all she wrote. Okay, so what do we know about order of operations? Okay, and then we're going to talk about number sets and then we're going to be done. Actually, we're going to talk about order of operations and then we're going to talk about number sets and then maybe I'll do two videos because then you can just one right into the next, you know what I mean? So this is how I like to say it, and I'm open to your critiques, fellow math teachers. There's one operation, adding, okay? And I'm going to use my half-eaten box of cookies to explain it to you in real time after I explain it over here, okay? There's one operation, adding. When we add just like a singular number, let's remember this, like 2 plus 5, we go, okay, 1, 2, there's 1, 2, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're just counting, right? And instead you count and you go, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 2, and 5 is 7, because we're just counting. That's it. And then people are like, that's pretty badass. But then someone said, wait, no. I know this better. Look, 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 look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But that could get long, right? So instead of writing three plus 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 three until you're in the neighbor's house, I know a new symbol. I mean, it write it three times four. Three. Four times is 12. And they do this just to confuse young people because they turned it on its side. But really, eventually, what does it become, everybody? And everybody said, amen. It's a dot. So got enough mojo left in the brown. Three, four times equals 12. Now, you go, well, what if I don't want three, four times? Maybe I want it to be the original three. Okay, fine. 12 divided four ways is three. Thank you very much, because division is just undoing of multiplication. 
So first is the worst, second is the best, and this is the, this is just like division is just like kid who doesn't have a bike kind of sucks. You're like, can I borrow yours? Okay. So what comes next? What's batched multiplication? Well, so now someone's like, okay, three times three times three times three equals eighty one. Yes, it does. But I don't want to write it this way anymore because what if I said three times three times three times three times three until I got to the neighbor's house? I'm going to write it this way. Three to the fourth power. Ha <laughs> ha. You with your multiplying. This is a power. 81. And then everyone went, huh. So, order of operation. Well, if you want a cookie, first you got to take all the boxes out of the Costco box. Okay? So just think of the big Costco box. That's like bulk, like 50 of these boxes in one Costco box, right? So that's the big box is like exponents. These bad boys are like multiplication. So a bunch of them fit in the big Costco box. But if you want a cookie, I told you they were half eaten. It all comes down to adding. This is what we're counting. We don't care about the box. And we don't care about the big Costco box. How many cookies do we have? So you, 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 you have to unpack it in that way. That's why the order of operations is you put this many cookies in this box. You put this many boxes in the big Costco box. You put however many boxes in the Costco box onto the truck. And when three trucks come to your house, how many cookies do you have? Start with adding. So, order of operation. Parentheses is such a cheap shot. Parentheses is like, open this box first. So, that's, a, that's me, your teacher, or somebody telling you to do this first. But, now in terms of adding, it's exponents. Because you got to un unbox the truck first. Multiplication. Figure out how many of these boxes you got, and then adding. That's the number of cookies. Pima. It's way simpler than PEMDAS or PERMDAS. Pima, because PERM, the R of ratios or a root, that's just undoing this. And the duh of DAS, that's just undoing this. And the s is of subtraction, that's just us doing that. It's Pima. Pima. That's the order of operation. And that's why you don't do adding first. You go left to right because these are equal. And seen. By the way, that's 3 and 7 is 10. Just in case anyone is wondering. It is not. It is not. It is not negative 4. You're welcome. If you don't mind me, I'm going to have a lemon cream. Oh, God.